What is up my chin army? As you can tell it's Christmas time, mistletoe and wine. I wish I was drinking some wine now but I don't have any. Plus it's uh, three o'clock in the middle of the day so it's a bit late to start. Yeah, Christmas is around the corner, obviously. Haven't been able to upload for a week, which actually I could have done. I had a warning, but I misread it and said I couldn't upload for a week. So my next one, my next strike I get, I won't be able to upload for a week. So that is completely my fault and I um, feel a bit like a fucking moron. A, a classic potato. I read what I wanted to read. I didn't really want to read it, I was just fuming that I got a strike. Then that went away and the reason that I got a community strike is because I was apparently sending out false medical information. Now I did dispute dispute this, I sent in all the links to papers, not, not just like articles written by a journalist, like legit I went on to PubMed, those kind of things and got all of these research and just sent them links to back up everything I said in the videos and they just sent me a message back saying um, thank you for your appeal but we are upholding our decision at, but thank you and I, I was just like this is fucking ridiculous so I'm actually saying genuine facts that are backed up by actual science and you're telling me it's misinformation that's almost like i don't know telling the world that they that even if they are right fuck it it doesn't matter because you can say pretty much whatever you want or they're in control of whatever you say which to a certain extent i actually agree with but when it's when people are disseminating shit about shit they should be shut down but when like all the medical research suggests what i'm saying is actually true then how can i be wrong and then i looked into it and it's not a matter of whether I was right or wrong and whether I could prove it, it was a matter of them clamping down on certain materials. I'm not going to go into it in case I get another strike. Um, <laughs> I nearly went into it but I'm not going to go into what it is because I'm, I'm just not going to talk about it from now on. But unless you're associated with a governing body who are credited by the WHO or other agencies of the sort you can have an opinion on that particular thing so therefore I'm not going to be talking about it anymore other than that this week has been a good well this this week gone has been all right actually um, me and Lydia had a week off the first one in 18 months which ended up being three days off because we were working going to work anyway to do work and then another thing as well so we just kept when someone emails something, even on our days off, we're still replying on things and people think, oh, that's not that difficult. But sometimes you, even when it's just, uh, how do I do this? And you just sometimes sit there and just go, <sighs> like, I know they wouldn't care if it's our days off and it's in the automated reply. It says Saturdays and Sundays, no one amends these emails. So obviously they, they know that. But at the same time, I'm just like, I hate leaving people with the possibility of thinking, oh God, now I've got to wait. So that puts pressure on me, especially to answer, even though I know I shouldn't really be answering because it is my day off, which isn't really a day off. It's just, I actually don't want to be doing that seven days a week, constantly replying to emails, but I do. Uh, that's just part of the, the job role, I guess, when you've got so much going on. Oh, and some of you may have seen already, some of you may not. Channel 5 are going to be using well, a production company who's made a TV show for Channel 5 called Working Title Secrets of Your Takeaway or something like that. And <clears throat> the guy who won Celebrity Master Chef, I think his name's Anthony something, dark hair tall, quite, quite funny, is hosting it. They wanted to have us on there originally for an interview and get footage in the kitchen, but because of COVID, it means that they couldn't come down. Uh, so they're gonna use 35 seconds of our YouTube channel and talk about it. A lot of people I've told this to have instantly gone, ooh, I hope you got paid for that. No, I didn't get paid for that. One reason, and that's because companies pay fortunes for 10 seconds worth of footage of theirs, of whatever, on a TV sh show. And I'm getting 35 seconds for free. So it's a win-win for me. And then they're like, oh, but they could be negative about it. I mean, yeah, they could be, but I just feel that even the, even if it is detrimental, I don't think in the long run it will be. I think people will come over and have a look anyway, because let's be honest, if you think takeaway food is the healthiest out there, you, you, you're deluded. It's fast food, so it's never going to be healthy. So I just, even if they rip it to pieces, it's people just mean, most people just be like, 
yeah? People try and slate McDonald's and shit like that, but they still go and fucking eat there, don't they? So it's, it's again, it's a win-win for me. I think that's about it for this week. Well, today, I'll, I'll leave you there with my thoughts. Um, I wasn't going to, I'm not actually mad at YouTube. I'm gonna go back to the beginning, first thing in the beginning, and I wasn't even going to talk about it, to be honest. But I thought it had to be addressed for those people who are wondering where we've been. And I just, the reason why I wasn't going to talk about it, because I was thinking maybe it's, it was, a troll that reported me. I don't really want to let them know it's got to me, and it did originally, but now if it happens again, I'll just be like, take the week ban. But again, I won't be talking about it, so it was not gonna happen. So, as always, stay safe. This is the way, live long, fucking prosper, stay classy, San Diego. Chin out. Oh, a Mandalorian season two is legit.